See now in physics, if you start from units and dimensions, uh, there are many topics which belong to mechanics. Okay, starting with uh, rectilinear motion, motion in a plane, then we have got uh, laws of motion, then we have got rotational motion in which we have collisions, center of mass, work energy principle is there. Okay, I've grouped them in one topic. Because you have every topic. You have oscillations, mein lagega, waves. Mein lagega. Then when we have a charged particle moving in electric and magnetic fields, there you will need this. In Bohr model of atom, you will need mechanics, Newtonian mechanics. Okay, so uh, mechanics has been the principal topic with 28 questions to overall. Okay, फिर फिर से आपको ये याद करना है कि यहाँ पे total nine versions हैं. Okay, so keep that in mind. Total nine papers. Fine. So there have been uh, three questions at least on mechanics. Okay, three questions per exam. Then the second popular topic has been electrostatics with two questions per exam. See now in NCRT there are two chapters dedicated to electrostatics. First one is electric charge and electric fields and the second one is uh, electric potential and capacitance. Okay, so those are both included. Hai. We also have some DC circuit problems which I have included in current electricity. Okay? So how does a capacitor work in this? You will have a resistor, a capacitor or multiple resistors and capacitors and a battery. Hmm? Sometimes they will give you a charged capacitor and some resistors. They will not give you anything else. Okay, there won't be any battery. So if you know Kirchhoff's current and voltage laws or loop and junction rules, you can solve those problems also. So current electricity has been the third popular topic. इसके बाद वाले जो टॉपिक्स हैं ना इसमें एक-एक क्वेश्चन अल्टरनेट ईयर से ऐसे आते हैं यूनिट्स एंड डायमेंशंस परहैप्स द इजीएस्ट ऑफ ऑल इन फिजिक्स ओके देन वी हैव ड्यूअल नेचर ऑफ रेडिएशन एंड मैटर सिक्स क्वेश्चंस न्यूक्लियर सिक्स क्वेश्चंस रिऑक्टिक सिक्स एंड थर्मोडायनामिक सिक्स ठीक है तो ये थोड़े से अलग-अलग टॉपिक्स हैं लेकिन इनका वेटेज same like ray optics is totally different from nuclei maybe nuclei and dual nature you can consider them to belong to modern physics yes but uh, weightage wise they fall in the same bucket yes and i have given separate uh, mention for gravitation क्योंकि उसका मतलब न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन तो है ही फिर उसमें और भी टॉपिक्स है सैटेलाइट्स लॉन्च किया तो क्या कैपलर्स लॉज ऑफ मोशन पोटेंशियल एनर्जी है उसमें ओके सो देयर हैव बीन फाइव क्वेश्चंस एक्सक्लूसिवली ऑन ग्रेविटेशन एंड प्रीवियसली इन फर्स्ट फ्यू आइसोरेप्टिव टेस्ट्स देयर वाज ऑलवेज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन एंगुलर मोमेंट ओके occurred to it it looked like this was a, a topic which those people loved very much didn't see any question on previous uh, paper but yes then uh, i often find semiconductors ignored by students the main reason is uh, this is the last chapter in ncrt so please don't ignore it luckily for you they will not be asking any questions on transistors or uh, zener diode wo sab abhi nahi hai. right it the applications of semiconductors are only till rectifiers so you should definitely target those okay if you understand the concepts then this shouldn't be a big problem okay then we have got electromagnetic induction and ac circuits that is also a topic which you need to prepare इसमें ट्रिग्नोमेट्री लगेगा इनफैक्ट सब लगेगा ट्रिग्नोमेट्री लगेगा डेरिवेटिव्स uh, लगेंगे बिकॉज लेंजेस लॉ हैज डेरिवेटिव इन इट आल्सो नीड इंटीग्रेशन बिकॉज द वे कैपेसिटर्स चार्ज एंड पोटेंशियल आर कनेक्टेड यू नीड इंटीग्रेशन टू अप्लाई द लूप रूल ठीक है देन वी हैव मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इसमें दो चैप्टर्स है फर्स्ट वन इज मूविंग चार्जेस एंड मैग्नेटिज्म 
in some books uh, this uh, chapter has name magnetic fields due to electric current and then we have got magnetism and matter okay which mainly contains the para ferro and diamagnetism and the similarities between current carrying loop and bar magnet as far as the magnetic field is concerned then kinetic theory of gases is yet another uh, topic uh, which is simple connected to thermodynamics sometimes they also connect this to atoms that is also important five questions for them then we have got atoms four questions mechanical properties of fluids oscillations and waves abhi dekho ye bhi ek hi group hai oscillations is the simple harmonic motion again technology is required waves again technology is required sometimes interference of waves is also asked okay because it is a wave phenomenon we know and uh, even if they don't ask you young's double slit experiment yahan par puch sakta two wave pulses are traveling when will they meet what will be the amplitude okay to usme trigonometry lagega sin c plus sin d lag sakta those of you have solved problems on waves they'll know how we uh, solve them theek hai to isme bhi दोनों मिला के वन क्वेश्चन पर पेपर आया ओके एंड देन अनफॉर्चुनेटली सम टॉपिक्स व्हिच हैव गॉट द लीस्ट वेटेज यस एनी डाउट सर इन मॉडर्न फिजिक्स आल्सो वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट वन क्वेश्चन राइट सर एग्जैक्टली इन मॉडर्न फिजिक्स यू हैव एटम्स न्यूक्लियर ड्यूअल नेचर एंड दिस सेमीकंडक्टर्स यस वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट वन और टू क्वेश्चंस cool then uh, the least asked topic is mechanical properties of solids uh, which has hooke's law then stress strain curve then relations between the moduli of elasticity all that wave optics bhi hai i haven't seen any question on diffraction as it in nicer aptitude test then electromagnetic waves mein bhi bahut rare questions hai ek ya do ya hai because i mean if they ask the question specifically on waves like in which direction it is traveling by specifying its equation or the phase then they can avoid asking another question on electromagnetic wave then we have thermal properties of matter which uh, also has some connections with kinetic theory uh, specific heats ka concept and uh, other important things is uh, thermal properties of matter and mechanical properties of solids ye dono bhi connected hai i'm sorry if i read uh, uh, if i said solids said it should be fluids okay and uh, no, so how can they ask questions on thermal properties and mechanical properties of solids okay standard question type is this there is a rod which is tightly held between two rigid balls and then this is heated ideally it would expand but the walls would prevent its expansion in this case and that would mean uh, the rod experiences compressive stresses so can calculate the prohibited uh, deflection from thermal properties of matter and then you can actually apply the stress uh, the stress strain law hooke's law टू कैलकुलेट दिस तो ऐसे मिक्स्ड कंसेप्ट्स भी पूछ सकते हैं यहाँ पे ज्यादा कॉमन है वो अगर आपने थर्मल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर के कुछ क्वेश्चन सॉल्व किए तो उसमें आपको देखेगा कि उन्होंने ये इसको कमाई किया ठीक है सो दैट इज माई एनालिसिस ऑफ आई सर पेपर एज फार एज टॉपिक्स आर कंसर्न